like today, if it's raining, you can always go indoors and head to one of my favorite locations in downtown Toledo, the Imagination Station. Sarah Galt joining us this yes. morning to tell us more about one of the experiments that uh, we can try. Yeah, so this might not be something you want to do at home. Okay. Leave it to the professionals, but it is something you Good can to see say that first. in the building. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we're going to start with our safety glasses today. Great. Um, because today we're actually going to be using liquid nitrogen. Now I know that I like to bring this. Yeah, I so like to touch we've it. We've seen it a lot, right? Yes. Uh, but we can do so many interesting things with it. Now, yeah. Very nice for this kind of muggy morning, right? It is. It's a little mystical. Um, so liquid nitrogen is actually negative 320 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is always boiling. Right. Now, when we think of things as boiling, we kind of want to think that they usually are hot. Yes. Um, so that's a little bit of a misconception. It just means that something is changing from a liquid into a gas. Okay. So boiling can be any temperature, all right? Um, and to show you, I've actually got a tea kettle. You probably have one of these at home. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Now, how do you know when your water is done on the stove if you put it in a tea kettle? Well, when the vapor starts to come out, okay. it squeals, right? Right. So we've got our liquid nitrogen in there. You can actually hear it. It's boiling. Yeah. So you can actually see it coming out of the spout as well, okay? <laughs> and you can see how frosty cold the outside of our tea kettle is. Right. So just think, we took it out of, I'll oh, turn that off. <laughs> we took it out of our doer um, where it was comfortable at mm -hmm. negative 320 degrees into an environment that's about 400 degrees warmer than it's warmer. used to. Warmer, <laughs> exactly. So very good to show the boiling. So boiling is changing from a liquid to a gas. Very good. Love that. Now to show you that gas, it's invisible, it's hard for us to see. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually gonna put some into this test tube. Yeah. And you can see inside, it's kind of hard, right, with all of that fog, but uh, <laughs> you can see it rapidly boiling in there. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna actually trap some of that gas in a balloon. Great. All right, so we're gonna throw this guy on top. And you can see it's starting to fill up instantly and it's actually expanding very, very quickly. Um, so what I'm gonna do is speed up the process even more. So I'm gonna take our test tube out of here. Uh-huh. All right, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped out of the way. I'm going to flip it over and transfer that liquid nitrogen into our balloon. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to let it continue to expand inside the balloon. You might even be able to hear it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. There's just a little bit of liquid left, but you can see how big our balloon is getting. And that's because our gas takes up 800 times more space than it does as a liquid. Oh my gosh. Okay. So eventually, now be prepared because this will explode. <laughs> it's going to reach its, its maximum capacity pretty soon. Okay. Okay. Don't flinch like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anything makes me as nervous as a balloon popping. Okay, so our <laughs> balloon is like incredibly big. We started out with a balloon this size. Okay. Yeah. 800 times 800 from, from times. liquid to gas. Right. And uh, why we're doing this today is we're actually going to use the same process for our second experiment. Okay. All right, and we're going to do a ball plosion today. A ball plosion. A ball plosion, right. I love it. I love so, the idea. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really resilient balloon. No, don't be nervous. I am a trained professional, Kimberly. <laughs> Popping balloons so, yeah, is what this, she does. This is pretty resilient. All right. Let's let it hang out. Okay. okay. I'm just okay. gonna I'm gonna let it breathe a little bit. This may just pop. Yeah, in the because I want us later. to be able to have time for our last experiment. Okay. Because it's kind of our big finale. All right. Let's do it. But you can see how much <laughs> gas we trap. <laughs> I'm sorry, you okay? <laughs> okay, Whew. now that that's out of the way. It's just shredded. It is completely shredded because it was so, so big. So now let's move down to our trash can. <laughs> now I'm ready. Whew. Now your job for this is I'm going to put our liquid nitrogen inside a two liter bottle inside this trash can. Okay. And then your job is going to be to take all of these colorful balls and you're going to dump them on top. Okay. All right, and then we're going to take a few steps back. Okay. Ready. So, Get my two liter bottle ready and get some liquid nitrogen. So we are creating that space yep. by turning this from a liquid to a gas. Right, so we're doing the same thing with the liquid nitrogen where we're filling this bottle and eventually it's gonna reach its maximum capacity as well. Mm -hmm. And it's not gonna be able to hold any more gas. And you can see we don't have to put too much in there. Wow. Um, I don't have to fill it up all the way by any means because we know that that gas is gonna expand and fill up the rest of the space for mm -hmm. us. So you're actually going to cap it off? I am going to cap it off. Ooh. Okay, and then as soon as I cap it, you're going to put those balls in and we're going to step back. Okay, right. I'm ready. You ready? All right. Get your balls ready. Ready. Dump them in. Perfect. Now yes. we're going to step back here. Okay, now we can hear it kind of crackling in there. There's a little bit of warm water helping speed up that process. Our ball explosion right. is Are getting ready. ready? So Things are always happening.
morning at the Imagination Station. Yes. Thank you for joining us this You're morning. You're welcome. <laughs> Love it. Having a blast out here. A little bit of rain and I'll give you a full look at our forecast coming up after this quick break.